New developments tonight in the case of a former police sergeant convicted of rape. Three hours ago, a judge sentenced Gordon Ennis to seven years in prison for raping a fellow officer in 2015. A jury found Ennis guilty of second-degree rape in March for assaulting an unconscious co-worker at a party. KXLY 4's Ariana Lake working for you following the case from the courtroom where Ennis apologized for what he called the profound impact of that night. Yeah, shortly after he issued that apology, uh, pardon me, I... I should say, shortly before he issued that apology, his own mom defended his character to the judge. Now, the judge weighed what they said along with prosecutors' statements, along with the facts of the case. He is a convicted rapist. Gordon is a good man. Conflicting descriptions of a father who spent more than a decade serving on the Spokane Police Department, a man who swore to protect the community, now heading to prison for rape. The sentence that I'm going to impose is 84 months. Seven years for Gordon Ennis for raping a fellow officer at a party in October of 2015. Now nearly three years later, the former police sergeant is apologizing to the victim and his friends and family. I am so sorry for the, the devastation and the upheaval that this has brought to the lives of my wife and children. Despite his conviction, close friends and family members came to court, calling Ennis a family man dedicated to his community. I will always, always stand beside him. I believe him, and I believe in him. With my head held high, I am so proud to call him my son. The presiding judge weighed those words along with those of Deputy Prosecutor Kelly Fitzgerald. This is an individual, Your Honor, who was a member of law enforcement at the time. Was an individual that this community trusted, an individual that this community expected would protect vulnerable individuals. He did not. Now, Ennis will have to register as a sex offender once he's released. Now, he can appeal the judge's decision. If he does, you'll be the first to know as we follow the story. Reporting live in Spokane, Ariana Lake, KXLY 4 News.